Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm very excited today because for story time, we are going to use a couple of different props that I've used in the library during story time before, and I haven't been able to use them for a while. I decided it was time. It's going to be a little different without kids to interact with them, but I don't care. I'm excited to share them with you. The first thing we're going to use is this gigantic box. And we're going to use this for our hello song. On each side of the box is a different animal. Usually during story time, we stand up and the kids are in front of me and I'll give it a toss and the box will roll on the floor. And whatever animal shows up on top, that's the animal that we sing about. It's pretty tricky to throw it in front of a computer. So I'm just going to go one by one and do some of the different animals that we can see. Now this is something that you can easily make at home. This is just a big box wrapped in construction paper. And then Miss Jessie taped on some of those uh, binder uh, folder sheet things. And then you just insert the different items into the sheets and use a little bit of Velcro to keep them together. Or you can use a tissue paper box and um, tape on different animals or draw them on. Or you can do different body parts um, so you can wiggle different parts of the body. Lots of fun ways that you can adapt this at home if you want. All right, so let's do our hello song. So instead of the different parts of our body, we're going to say hello to different animals. Let's start off with... Do you know who that is? That looks like a horse, but it's actually a donkey. Do you know what sound a donkey makes? Hee-haw, hee-haw. So you can see this donkey has some tall ears. So if you want, you can give yourself some tall ears. And you can also prance around like a donkey too if you want. I'm going to stay in my chair because I have to stay hooked up to my <laughs> microphone. But you definitely get up and move around like a donkey, okay? So we'll say hello to our donkey and we'll say hello. Say hello to the donkey. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Say hello to the donkey. Hee-hee-ha. <laughs> Let's see who is next. Do you know what animal that is? That's an owl. You're right. They come out at night and they sleep and rest during the day. And they can swivel their heads back and forth really far. So why don't we go ahead and make some big owl eyes and turn our head as we say hello to the owl. If you want, you could also fly around the room. <laughs> say hello to the owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. Say hello to the owl. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's do two more. Let's see. We have a, oh, it's kind of crooked. <laughs> That's a goose. They look like a duck, but they have longer necks. And they can waddle around on their feet. And they have beaks. And they also fly. And they also swim in the water. There's all sorts of different actions that you can choose to say hello to the goose. Which one are you going to choose? Are you going to fly? Are you going to swim? Are you going to peck your beak everywhere? <laughs> I'm going to fly. <laughs> Say hello to the goose. Honk, honk, honk. Honk, honk, honk. Say hello to the goose. Honk, honk, honk. Let's do one more. This animal does not live anywhere near us. It usually lives in Australia and zoos. 
What animal is that? It's a kangaroo. And they hop, 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 don't they? They can leap really far. They have really strong legs. And they also have a pouch in their fronts that the babies sleep in. The babies sleep in the mama's pouch for quite a while. So are you going to hop around the room? I'm going to pretend to hop around the room. You going to hop with me? <laughs> are you ready? Say hello to the kangaroo. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Say hello to the kangaroo. Hop, hop, hop. We better say hello to our families, too. You can wave to wherever your family is sitting. <laughs> say hello to your family. Hello, family. Hello, family. Say hello to your family. Hello, family. <laughs> Our story today is called In This Book. I want to thank Chronicle Books for allowing me to share this story with you today. It is by Fanny Marceau and Joelle Jolivet. I am in the poppy, said the, who is that? The bee. Can you buzz like a bee? Bzzz. I am in the hair, said the barrette. This child has black hair. What color is your hair? Mine is brown with a little bit of gray, a little bit of blonde, and a little bit of mess. <laughs> I am in the nest said the bird. The bird is in the nest. What color is that bird? White, yeah. Can you see a lot of similarities between this page and this page? The pictures both have a lot of black and white and orange on them, don't they? I am in the sky, said the Clouds. Can you help me count these clouds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven white fluffy clouds. I am in the tree, said the... Who is that? The monkey. There's the monkey's face and his long tail. Oh, who do you think is in the web? I am in the web, said the spider. I am in the apricot, said the pit. Have you ever tried an apricot before? Some people say apricot. The pit. There's a big, hard seed in the middle, kind of like a peach. Have you ever eaten a peach before? Next time you have apricots or peaches or a plum, be around. Help your adult cut the fruit. And when you pop it open in half, you'll see this big, hard pit in the middle. That part you don't eat. I am in the bed, said the teddy bear. Do you sleep with any stuffed animals like a teddy bear? I am in the bus, said the driver. I am in the lighthouse, said the lighthouse keeper. Look at that big stream of light coming out of the lighthouse. I am in the bath, said the child. <laughs> what is all over the child's hair? 
bubbles. Do you like to take bubble baths? <laughs> I am in the glove. What's in the glove? The hand. I am in the tunnel, said the train. Can you make a train sound with me? Choo choo. Choo choo. You can see just the lights of the train. It must be really dark inside that tunnel. I am in the forest, said the mushroom. There's a little mushroom growing right by the trees. What else might we find in the forest? We've got a mushroom and some trees. What might be living in the trees? Maybe some birds or squirrels. Sometimes we find flowers or ferns in the forest. Maybe some bears or porcupines. I am in the bed, said the dog. I am in the dark, said the child. There we just see the outline of the child and the lamp and the bed and the door. And just a little bit of light peeking up behind, <laughs> under the door, not behind the door, under, it's peeking under. I am in the hand, said the, what kind of insect is in the hand? A ladybug. Oh, who's in the fish bowl? A goldfish. I am in the bowl, said the goldfish. What else is in the bowl with this goldfish? Did you say water? Yeah, there's also water in the bowl. I am in the water, said the swimmer. Oh, I really like swimming. Do you like swimming? I am in the forest, said the wolf. Oh, this forest looks a little different than the forest with the mushroom. Oh, there's also a little bird peeking up there. I never noticed that before. Oh. This is why I love rereading books. There's always something new to discover. I am in the train, said the traveler. That's a long passenger train. I like the color too. Oh, what is growing? A seed. I wonder what kind of plant that seed is going to grow up to be. It kind of looks like a bean seed. I am in the ground, said the seed. I am in the stroller, said the child. That's a fun polka dot green and white stroller. I wonder who's pushing the stroller. Maybe dad or grandma or a babysitter. I am in the net, said the butterfly. I am in space, said the planet. We live on planet Earth. That looks kind of like Earth. Oh, look at that big tiger. I am in the jungle, said the tiger. Look at how the leaves and the grass helps to camouflage the tiger. I am in the garden, said the gardener. What is the gardener doing in that garden? Do you know what that is? A watering can. The gardener is watering some beautiful tulips. I am in the shoe, <gasps> said the pebble. Ouch, better get that pebble out. That's no fun to walk. 
I am in the shell, said the snail. Look at all those circles. Can you make a little tiny circle with your finger? Can you make it get a little bigger and a little bigger like the snail shell and a little bigger? How big can you draw a circle in the air? I am in the field, said the tractor. I wonder what they're growing in that field. What do you think? I am in the basket, said the salad. Ooh, a salad sounds tasty. Oh, and so does cheese. I am in the cheese, said the hole. It must be Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese has holes. I am in the grass, said the ball. Do you know what kind of sport uses this ball? Soccer or football. Most places around the world call this a football. But here in America, we call it a soccer ball. I am in the trunk, said the suitcase. Oh, I wonder if they're coming back from a trip or maybe they're leaving for a trip. I wonder. I am in the burrow said the rabbit, <laughs> his little fluffy tail. <laughs> I am in the chair, said the girl. Oh, she's wearing headphones just like me. Let's see. She's wearing a white dress. I'm wearing a blue shirt. What color clothes are you wearing today? I am in the box, said the gift. Oh, oh, I wonder what the gift is. I am in the boat, said the sailor. I am in the ocean, said the whale. Whales are really big, aren't they? I am in the painting said the princess. I am in the herd, said the sheep. Mostly white sheep, and then there's one little black sheep. They have green eyes. What color are your eyes? If you don't know, ask your family that's next to you. What color are their eyes? I am in the sand, said the crab. Can you pinch your fingers like a crab? Pinch, pinch, pinch. Oh, I am in the mud, said the pig. <laughs> I am in the oven, said the meat. I am in the kitchen, said the chef. Oh, look at all those pots and pans, and there's a knife and a stove. The chef is cooking away. I am in the lock, said the key. I am in the toolbox, said the hammer. There's lots of other tools in the toolbox, too. I am in the shell, said the turtle. That shell looks a lot different than the snail shell, doesn't it? There's still patterns, though, just like the snail shell. Still some circle-looking things, but it's different still. I'm in the toy box, said the toy. And me, I am in your arms. The end. We are going to do an action poem now. You can definitely stand up for this one. This will be great big movements with your body. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to block our eyes from some bright sunlight. And then we're going to make some clouds in the air. And then we're going to wiggle our fingers down because it's raining. And then it's going to rain everywhere. And then the clouds are going to go away. 
and then a rainbow is going to come out. We'll do it a couple times. One day the sun was shining bright. Then clouds came along and it was dark as night. The rain began to sprinkle onto the ground and soon it was raining all over the town. But when the clouds had passed on by, a big beautiful rainbow stretched across the sky. Let's do that again. First we start off with that bright sun. One day the sun was shining bright. Then clouds came along and it was dark as night. The rain began to sprinkle onto the ground and soon it was raining all over the town. But when the clouds had passed on by, a big, beautiful rainbow stretched across the sky. We are now going to do a poem from this book called Off to the Sweet Shores of Africa and Other Talking Drum Rhymes. And I want to thank Chronicle Books for allowing me to share this poem with you today. For this action poem, we are going to clap our hands. And we're also going to make a shaking noise. I'm going to use this. You can use anything else that you have in the house to make a shaking noise. Maybe you have an unopened box of cereal or egg shakers, or you can put some um, small object in a used pop bottle and shake that up. Whatever works for you. And then I'm also going to use our big box from our hello song as a drum. You can use anything as a drum. You can use your lap, a table, a box, a pot or a pan, an empty oatmeal container, lots of fun options. So if you need to gather any of those materials, pause this video and come on back. All right, our first poem, we're going to clap our hands. Can you clap with me? Yeah, just like that. Drip, drop, clip, clop. Drip, drop, clip, clop. Drip, drop, clip, clop. Drip, drop, clip, clop. Can you keep doing that? Drip, drop, clip, clop. Yep, you keep saying that, and I'm going to keep reading the poem. Your adults can drip, drop, clip, clop right along with you. You ready? Drip, drop, clip, clop. The gallant rains are marching by. They will march by every crop and make them grow 20 miles high. All right, the next part, get out that egg shaker or that, <coughs> excuse me, or that empty, not empty, that box of unopened cereal. Shake to the beat. You shaking with me? Yeah. Rain maker, rain maker, make me some rain. Make it fall on my sugar cane, then they will grow in a long, pretty row. Next, I'll cut them all down and sell them in town. It's time to get that drum out. Get that drum out. Can you drum on it? You can use two hands. Or you can use one hand. Are you ready? Rainbow bright. Rainbow bright. Rainbow art. 
across my barn. Rainbow stop, rainbow drop, rainbow hop onto my palm. Thank you for being in a band with me. That was really fun. We played our instruments together and we clapped to the beat. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed our stories and our action poems. Definitely feel free to reach out if you um, need help finding any books to read together as a family at home. I hope you're doing well. You are super, super, super and duper, duper, duper. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Take care.